Hey everyone, I'm Oliver from Lux Trading and today we're gonna break down something every trader struggles with. Keeping your nerves in check while trading. Trading isn't just about skill and strategy, it's about being in the right state of mind. So today, I'll walk you through four essential principles to stay calm and focused in trading and I'll throw in a bonus tip at the end. Trust me, you'll want to stick around for that one. Ready? Let's jump in. Alright, so my first principle is to only trade when you're in the right mindset. This one might sound simple, but it's actually the foundation of successful trading. Only trade when you're feeling balanced and calm. Trading while stressed, distracted, or even overconfident can really cloud your judgment. One of the most common issues is something I call the Superman Syndrome. Let me give you an example from my own trading journey. My first day trading, I scored a massive 20% gain. I felt unstoppable and I thought I'd hit the jackpot, but the very next day, I blew my entire account. Now, you might be asking why. Well, it was because I felt like I could do no wrong. So I threw caution out of the window and overtraded. Instead of following a strategy, I was chasing the high of winning and the market hit back hard. So if you ever catch yourself in a Superman mood, step back, log off and reward yourself with something other than trading. Go out, relax and let that energy settle. Markets will still be here tomorrow. There is no need to chase every little gain if it means losing your head in the process. Now my second principle is to set clear parameters for every trade. Now that we've covered mindset, let's talk about structure. Trading is never random. If you're approaching trades without a plan, then emotions can easily take over. Every trade should have clearly defined parameters. Before you hit the button, ask yourself these questions. Why are you entering this trade? Is it based on sound technical or fundamental analysis? When will you enter and when will you exit? And know your ideal entry and exit points. What's your potential risk and reward? How much can you gain versus how much you could lose? any fundamental reports today, always check for major market news and it, is, it can heavily impact your trades. Having this structure in place keeps you focused and takes the guesswork out of the trades. Remember, trading isn't about playing hunches, it's about following a well thought out plan that reduces risk and maximizes potential. The third principle I have is to keep a trading journal. And it hasn't been here for quite a while, so let's move on to the one of the most powerful tools for any trader, <laughs> a trading journal. I think of your journal as a personal blueprint to learn and improve. This isn't just a record of wins and losses, it's a record of your mindset, strategies and routines. Here's what to include, what you traded and at what price, the strategy you used, your mindset before, during and after the trade, were you confident, anxious, over time a detailed journal can reveal trends that improve your trading. You might notice that trades go better when you're in a calm positive state. Or you might realize you trade better when you follow a pre-trade ritual. Mine is coffee and a quick break. I've noticed that if I skip this, my trades often don't turn out as well. So track everything, even the small stuff. And don't just record your successes. Not noting your mistakes is just as important, especially when you're still learning. My fourth principle is don't check your account all the time. If you're in it for the long run, try to avoid constantly checking your account. If you're investing in stocks or funds, you would monitor them every single day, right? The same principle applies here. When you check your account all the time, you're more likely to make emotional decisions. Set your goals over weeks, days, months, or even years. Not not a couple of minutes, depending on what kind of trader you are, of course, but make sure to set appropriate time goals. And here's how to do it. The first, you create long-term goals. You know, what's your target for six months or a year? Stick to your trading plan and check your performance every few weeks, not every few hours. This reduces stress and helps you focus on consistency over time. And markets fluctuate daily and focusing on every tiny movement will only make you anxious and reactive. So give yourself some room to breathe and take a step back. The big picture is what counts. Alright, here's the bonus tip I promised, the multiple account strategy. This strategy helps prevent that rush of overconfidence that can lead to bad decisions. Here's how it works. Start with a conservative account where you trade cautiously 
risking no more than a tiny bit of your capital. As you build profit, transfer those gains to a second account. Build a balanced account. This is an account where you accumulate profits until it reaches the initial capital of your main account. Once it does, you have a choice. Withdraw your gains or continue trading more actively here, risking slightly more. Set up an aggressive account to accumulate profits from both accounts, and by this stage you're trading with house money so you can afford to be a little bolder. This approach does a few key things. If, if you might think about that. Firstly, it kind of tricks your mind into managing risk more responsibly. But when I'm talking about more balanced and more aggressive account, I mean, you still have to keep a good risk management, obviously. And rather than seeing a massive profit in a single account, it can you're splitting funds pretty much across accounts and protecting your capital. And it gives you more flexibility to diversify and create safety nets within your trading. So let's quickly recap what we've gone over today. Only trade when you're in a good headspace, set clear parameters for each trade, know your why, when and how much, keep a detailed trading journal to track both of your successes and mistakes, avoid constant checks on your account, and focus on your long-term goals. And finally, you can use my bonus tip. Now remember, trading isn't a race, it's about being smart, steady and aware of both your emotions and strategies. Thank you for watching, let us know in the comments how do you keep cool both in trading and in life, and as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that bell for more tips. I'll see you in the next one.